she shot him, he shot in the head. They argued they were supposedly struggling over a gun, a pistol, and hit in their house. So it was, it was like a day or two days or three days or four days after she found out at Howard Johnson's that I was available. And two or three days after that, she and her husband were, were uh, uh, arguing over something and, uh, and they were struggling with a gun and he shot, supposedly shot himself accidentally. She actually positively murdered him. All right. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, Pop. Um, Absolutely, that's the truth. That's fine. No, I know, but I thought she was. I always thought she somebody was. Somebody else. Somebody else has it. I gave the story, but we didn't print it. So over it went Carolyn told me the story about how I was eligible, and how I just lost my life. And it was like four days after that. That was at Howard Johnson's. I remember vividly where they were sitting across in the booth, and. Uh, and I remember it vividly, like it was last night. And then four days later, her husband shot himself, so supposedly. She told me the story a couple of times. She kind of laughed and joked about it. All right. Okay, Pop. Um, all right. It doesn't matter at this point anyway. But all right, well, tell me again. Yeah, I'm sorry, Pop. I'm, I'm, I'm making... It's all right. Yeah, I mean, I'm... I'm but the only, th the only thing that matters is that we could, you could publicize it and, and you'd have no problem, no problem at all. Because she would never, never, never... She would, she would not want it brought to light. So just the story just appearing would make a... would make an mm -hmm. stir. All right, well, let me, let me work on it and let me think about it and we can talk about it, okay, on Wednesday. All right. So, but I'm making... I'm, I'm trying to... Yeah, I'm just not concentrating because I'm doing something right, else. Listen to me. There is no question of a doubt. None. Zero. She has talked about it. We've talked about it many, well, not many, but several times, not in recent years, but several times. She snickers and jokes about it. Yeah. No, no question about the truth. Knowing, knowing her as we do, <laughs> it's, easy for, it's easy for me to understand. <laughs> she's vicious. She's absolutely vicious. Yeah, I know. All right, Pop. Well, listen, let's talk about it again. Please try to get some rest, though, okay? All right. Well, that's what I'm, gonna, I'm going for the tenth time. I'm going to sleep now. Yeah. All right. I'm teasing. No, it's okay. I know. I know. You're having trouble sleeping. I just don't want to make a mistake. I'm I'm doing something financial here with work, and I don't want to make a mistake. No, you're not. No, you're not okay. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have picked up. It's just the guy happened to get back to me exactly when you called. Listen to me. There is no mistake. Like I said, she has admitted it to me more than once over the years. We haven't talked about it in years, but in early, you know, years ago, up to I don't know what point we talked about it. She described it vividly. And told me exactly what All right, Pop. Showed me some of the maneuvers. All right. Well, listen. Let listen. I love you dearly. Let's talk about it. Let me just finish this work. You can call me later if you want tonight, if you want, but go to sleep if no, you can. No, no more later tonight. I'm going for okay. the fourth time. All right. Go to sleep, Pop. Yeah. Let me just. I don't want to make a mistake. I'm I'm working with some big okay, money here. All right, go ahead. I'm but I got the story. I got it recorded. Okay. All right. Just bring it up with me again when we can talk. When I can talk clearly. Yeah, I will, and then I can take some notes and and concentrate. All right. Okay. All right, thanks, Dad. Right. All right, I love won't you. Be calling you anymore tonight. No, it's okay. It's okay. I'm just. It's, it's just. Teasing. No, it's just the raw. Just like I. The, yeah, it's just with four minutes. I just had. I don't want to. You know, I just got this All guy right. to get back to me finally. So. Okay. All right. All right. I'll talk to you. Okay. Thanks, Dad. Bye bye. All right. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Love, love you. you. Love you. Bye. Yeah, Dad. This is very important. It's the last thing I'm going to say to you. You must remind me to help me remember. You listening to what I'm saying? Yes. I must divorce her because she gets all kinds of benefits if we're married and I when I die. You hear me? You oh, yeah, you got to be. Saying? Yeah, no. She gets, she gets up on my death. I've got so many benefits between where it was in the service and between some of the things I did, right. she'll, get, she'll, she'll get a small portion for the rest of her life. So we 
we gotta get, I gotta get this horse. Okay, we'll get it taken care of. I just, I just, I, listen, I only just recently, so I only, I didn't, never thought about it, but because I've done a little bit of research because we've been talking, I only recently discovered it. I mean, it's always been there, I just never paid right. much attention to it. But you don't want her, you, you don't want her to keep getting money off of you after you're Are gone. Are you kidding? Right. No, no. I wanted to go to jail. I don't want to get any money off like that. Are you kidding? Yeah. All right, Pop. That's, that's absurd. She's already stolen enough to... Oh. Yeah, I know. Why would I want that? No, Why? I know. I just want to get it recorded. That's all. I'm only asking you so I got it on, on record. There's no question. Okay. I don't want to see anything good. After all, she's put me through. And all I, she's done is... I know, Daddy. And, she, and let me tell you something. When, when a person steals a bro gets away with it. What do you think they do? They keep doing it and they keep doing it. Yeah, you're right. People, yeah. People. No, yeah, no, yeah belongs, you're right. She belongs in a bad place. I know, I know, Dad. I know, I know. Well, I just said, I only asked you again because I wanted to make sure it was I have it on record. So, and I'll probably, when I get my wits about me, ask you a whole bunch of other things so I can but at least me, have it on record. We're gonna do, I'm going to write a little dossier when we get together and it'll be seeped in fact. Yeah. Absolute 100% fact. And we'll, and then we'll see what we can do with it. Right, well. Here's where it stands. Listen to me. Here's where it stands right now. Are you listening? With my money, she bought this house. Okay? Yeah. Right now, she, right now, she used some of her money too, okay? A lot of my money. Listen to this. She put the house in the name of her and her daughter. I know. I get. I get, I get, I get no, no stake, no value, nothing. I know, I know. You told me that. Listen, I know. I'm just getting it on recording, so. Please, please, it, whatever you do, stay in touch with me because you're my only. Life I, I am, Pop. But listen, I'm just no, letting. Nobody else. Dad, listen. I'm just letting you know. I'm getting it on recording, so now you can know your things are safe. Because whatever, if you, as soon as you tell me what you would like to happen to those things upon your death, okay. I'll make right, sure it okay. gets done. Okay. Okay, and you don't right, need right. to, yeah, that's better than any will, trust me, you'll be, I got it on recording, okay? Okay. So as right. soon as you know, let me know, but right now we're going to keep them with you, and we're going to move them to wherever you and I move when I get there, okay? Amen. And we're watching, Amen. listen, I told you, three rules, here's the, I told you the two negatives, I'll leave you with the three positives, we're playing sports, eating, and watching movies, that's our life, that's what we're doing, and yeah, laying in the I sun and the it. horses, that's it. our life, I, I ain't changing, Okay. <laughs> and and whatever you want to do, I'm at your beck and call. Whatever you want to do that's that we love. Okay, I love you, Papa. All right. Don't pop. Listen, you're not. Listen, look outside. Walk out. Just don't pop. Just get out of it. Just be. Put it in your head. Start training yourself. Okay, you're a new man. I, I, I'm going to call Verdini and send him a dozen roses, okay, for finally giving you the proper diagnosis. Finally, finally, 35 years, somebody finally gives you the right diagnosis. And, of course, of all the times, she brings a tape recorder. Did you hear when I was telling you, he quote, he quote, he said, the top, what did he say about from my age, I'm the top of the, what did he say? He I'm said, you doctor. don't have Alzheimer's, and for people in your age, you're in the top 5% mentally. That's it. Right. And I wouldn't be surprised if this is the first time she brought a tape recorder to try to get the doctor to say something well, I, wrong. I, I, you know, I wouldn't be either. I wouldn't be either. Right, but the irony is the devil comes to try to tell you you have Alzheimer's and dementia, and God is there to finally show you the light and the truth that you don't. And of all the times she thought she was finally going to get it on recording, go to hell. Satan yeah, be that's, gone. That's right. Go that's to right. hell. Ha <laughs> ha. Go now, show up in court with that. Right. Amen. <laughs> Amen. All right, I love you. Go get some rest and a shower. I love you. Peace. Love me too. I love you. Best news I got. Love you. Bye, Bob. Let me have an accident, okay? That's all I'm asking. That's all. I won't bother you anymore. Okay, first of all, you have me on video. Okay? You don't have to talk in your ear. You can look in the camera. Okay? You see me? I see you. You do see me? I see you. Okay, and I see you. All right, so say what you want to say again real quick. Wait, no, I got a mouthful of wet. Yeah, mouthful of bread and potatoes. I'm saying that if you take a deep 
press for a minute and assume on the possibility. I mean, I know it's, I mean, I've seen enough proof and I've known them. But the fact is, they are killers. They joked about throwing a man down nine stories and so on and so on and so on. I've seen it, Mark. I've seen it and I've heard it. But the fact of the matter is, they don't deny it. She doesn't deny it from me because she knows I know. But she knows also that nobody's going to believe me. Nobody's going to believe me. They wave this white flag. They make they put, they're out there portraying themselves as, you know, solid citizens. They're killers. They're absolute killers. I've heard some of their conversations. I didn't need to hear. Them. The point is, I need her to know that somebody else knows. That's all. Somebody else knows beside me on the possibility that I have an accidental death, and and somebody else starts doing my battle. Okay, and you're saying that her Donna and her sister ki- killed at least one man, and Donna too. Absolutely, positively. I saw it. I saw the. I saw both notes, letters between the back, the two. I've seen it all, Mark. Do you think? I, do you think I made it up? I'm lying. No. I stand back the Bibles. I saw. It. I saw proof in writing. Now, I, that I believe the reason, you. Wait. The only reason was because we moved. See, we move twice, and when you move, you know you leave things astray. Right. I've never, but it was, it was, it was in with regard to the two moves. It was the time we moved from wherever we were to the first time we were behind the A and P in East Green, or the the press chopper there in East Greenbush, uh, or the whatever that market, Albany Market. Okay. That's when I encouraged. She, uh, they, they misstepped, they misstepped, and they left the, she left the box or that whatever she left there. And I managed to see it fine. Otherwise, I'd have never found. Okay, and it's the guy from the ninth floor in Los Angeles they threw out the window, basically? That's, That's one thing I know they did. I don't right. know how many others they did. Right. But yes, absolutely, positively. Okay, and and then the other one was Donna shooting her husband after she <laughs> knew you became available. Mark, zero question about that, Mark. Zero right. question. Zero okay. question about that. I mean, right now she laughs about it when we when joke, she jokes about it. And I, I, I'll tell you, I told you exactly how it happened. Uh, she. No, you don't have to tell me. You already told me before. All right. And that's exactly how it happened. There's no fudging. There's no exaggerating. That's precisely how it happened. Word got to her through, uh, you know, the, 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 what's her name? Girl? Gerald and Fiaco. Yeah, right. And, 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 uh, and she uh, quickly, quickly, quickly got rid of the... Uh, her husband and an accidental can you now think about it an accidental shoot how many wives accidentally shoot their husband in their kitchen come on how many is it, I mean is that that commonplace it's right. a little unpredictable right but nobody made a fuss over it because partly because uh, I don't somebody got involved I don't know if it was even me that did something I don't know I think you no know, it wasn't me well I don't know I don't remember but somebody got involved and made it have uh, just Little or no publicity. Very few people. I'll tell you how I knew. I once tried, when I got this uh, motivation here some months ago, maybe even a year, I don't, I, I contacted, I actually contacted some of the poor guy's family. And they, they, they took, one of them told me, one of them talked like hell. They said that they would, they tried to get somebody to look at it, but nobody wanted to look at it. They, they just wrote it off easy as an accident. Yeah. And I can understand that. She's a killer, Mark. She's absolutely, she has no heart at all. She's a pig. Oh, you want to hear something? It's just, uh, you know, it's just, I'm so, you know, biggest mistake, obviously, biggest mistake in my life. Right. And I, and I can't, you know, I, I, I have to get out of it this time because I'm, now that she's got her sister, see, her sister's, as bad as not as her sister's a vicious killer, they will, I absolutely guarantee you that if you leave me alone and everybody leaves me alone, I will have an accident of some kind in the next little bit because I'm making too much noise for them. And, and what they have to think common sense is if I keep spouting off, sooner or later somebody might believe me. And I guarantee you that that's, that's I guarantee you that's why Donna went out for a few minutes about seven hours ago. She she spent the last five six hours with her with her sister. Now now what are they what her and her sister doing? What do you think they're doing? Playing games, playing cards, yeah. playing checks. Well figure out what to do with me. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying that's why they, they, that's why they're still staying this long, but I have no doubt about it that I was a major topic for it. Right. All right. Well, in, clo- in closing for now, because I've got to get to work, uh, yes, 
more importantly than you, somebody finally listening to you, is the fact that somebody will finally listen to me or begin to listen to me because I'm on your side and I believe what you're telling me. And I'm a much bigger threat to Donna than you are. Okay. Oh, no question about that. Okay. So I don't doubt that what you say is a kernel of truth. Now, yes. what I'd like to get accomplished with you, because I'll be there in less about a week or less, yes. is for you to follow up on what you said about things as simple as your belongings and you know what finances you have left. Because I, I when, would do it. No, no, no answers to Well, I know, but you said you would, and then when I said, "Can you record something?" You gave me a lot of back talk, and you didn't wait, do wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. Record what? What are you talking about? Record a statement from you saying the date and with regards to the belongings that you have, that should you perish before me, that they come into either my or somebody else's well, possession. I don't have any problem with that. Other than, no. okay, no. other than no. Donna, yeah. other than Donna, and obviously her sister. And the same for whatever's left in whatever bank account you, or sports betting account you have, because when you die, they will basically, unless you tell me otherwise, and I tell an authority figure or a lawyer, they will go to her and her sister. And yeah, I, I, never mind the family. All, my other accounts, I've got, I've got a, I've got a, I have, okay, look, I got, I have this big thing behind my back okay. to try to get some relief from the pain. I have no problem, no problem whatsoever with that. No. Okay, so in today's yeah, state, I, can you know, you, whatever accounts I've got, she, she, I don't know why. Here's something curious and interesting. When we, when, not when we moved over. Shortly All right, listen. After, let me listen before you tell me that. Let me just finish this. Uh, wait, I'll forget though. I want to let you, she no. had, me, she had me adjust or change some of my sport accounts. And she never did that before. And I asked her, I said, why did you have me doing all that uh, juggling around? And I'll tell you about it in the detail, but not now. Go ahead. Okay. Well, the moral of the story is, do you know what today's date is? No. Can you look at a calendar and tell me? Yeah. Uh, let's see. We're in August. We're in August. It's probably, what, what today is Friday, Thursday, Friday. Or it's probably about 26, 27. No, it's Friday. The Does it look like Friday, August the 19th? August nineteenth. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's that's the week. Okay, that's today. It just walked. Well, yeah, yeah. It's just it's August nineteenth. Yes, it's just above where I'm looking. Okay, so 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 God forbid the day when it comes. If you should perish before me, do you give me permission to take possession of your furnishings that are left in that house? And I'll do whatever we discuss it today or time <laughs> afterward. Whatever you want. Absolutely. Okay, positive. you just don't. You would just prefer them not to remain in Donna's possession, correct? Absolutely, positively. Okay, no, would you would no. you say the same with regards to any bank accounts or sports yes. betting accounts you have yes. any remaining finances yes. in? Okay. Yes. All right. No well, no, listen. No hesitation. No problem. Okay. In then the today. Place, in the first place, she doesn't need any of my little pittance money. Mark, if you knew. If you only knew and could see, I mean, I have seen the paperwork. She she was a multi-million, she was a millionaire. Well, when before we ever moved here, well before. Okay, we well, that's all your money. So let me no, put, all my money, so well, let me put an end to this conversation for now and take a break and just say, um, today's, this is Mark wait, let Anthony. Let me ask you one question. Let me ask you one question. Let me finish. Wait, no, wait, just let me you. You know, you know how old I am? You know what kind of brain I have? Small, medium, large. Do you think that I could imagine or make up seeing? The no, let, let, let's let me just finish for now. Let me just finish. Money. Let me just finish about money. No, I know it's about the money. You said about her keeping the money. you doing everything with the money, right? And saving and uh, putting aside and and basically having a million dollars or or in a, an account or more. Absolutely, that's what I'm about. That, that, I'm not saying that's okay. all my money. Okay, but but well, she, when she worked, she made a lot of money. That all got sunk. And I, I don't well, know where her. Uh, oh well, wait, I know. Her, one of her husbands, or her husband, had a had a. Oh wait a minute! Oh my God! In heaven, she took. Oh my God! What the hell? Uh, I remember we talked about this. Before. She took out an insurance. They had on her husband. She had like. Three months, four months before he died, she took out a, her, uh, his, his family started 
to try to make a little case of that, but nobody wanted to hear them. He, they took, she took out an a, a, a impressionable number, uh, insurance number, on her husband within three or four months. It was either one or the other. It was three okay. so Well, now that, ta- ta- that, to me, answers a lot of questions on to why you think she had wealth before she met you. Because oh, no, the the, no, 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 the no, wealth I, I, she didn't get no, acu- accumulate a lot of wealth from working yeah. at Emma Willard, but yeah, right. I don't no, doubt no, from an inheritance no, and an insurance policy. insurance policy. Right. She got insurance policy. She told me. She showed me. She didn't show me the exact policy. She laughed and told me about it more than once, Mark. She had a she had a, an impressive I don't know what number, but she had an uncommon amount of insurance. And let, let me tell you something. No. Listen. Listen carefully, because it makes sense. When when she was asked by one of the insurance, somebody was trying to help her as, as a friendly gesture. Well, honey, you know, you're just you and him. You don't need much. You don't need much. You know what her, You know how she bought enough more than... I mean, you can buy as much as you want. Like I said, it was just a friendly advice. Listen carefully. This is a thousand percent accurate. You know what the insurance... When she uh, told the insurance fellow uh, that he uh, fools around with guns a lot. Oh, you got to uh, be kidding. Go ahead, no, continue. He, he clean. He has. Re- he he really did. And incidentally, he did a little bit. But but he had a, he had like two revolvers and a, and a, or he had one revolver and two uh, rifles or two rifles and one whatever it was. It was a combination of three. He had two of one and one of the. He liked guns, and she knew that. And don't you? That's so you understand. That's how he died. Accidental right. shooting. You think here's a guy hunts. Does everything physically look fine? Uh, not a huge, not overweight, and he had three guns, and he accidentally, accidentally shot himself in his house with him and her, her alone. Come on. Right, and you're saying she, when she took out the insurance policy, she explained to the person that he does use guns a lot, and you know, oh, who yeah. knows, That's maybe something could. Out, yeah, because yeah. she took out an inordinate like, amount. Right. For a couple they were in the, in the category they were in. It's just whoever they bought the insurance from, uh, uh, you know, it was a reasonable question, I think. I, I mean, I think in a, in 100%, maybe at least half of those insurance people, maybe 40%, maybe 60 might ask the same question. You know, you're a simple couple, you're a simple couple living here in this little house, and there's no danger around us. Why would you need so much insurance? Right, okay. All right, well, listen, that answers a lot of questions. And again, in closing on this, just so you yeah, know... Because I thought I told you this before. No, you didn't, and that make that answers a lot of my questions. Because again, I know she didn't accumulate, regardless of your dispute of it, a lot of money from working at Emma Willard. But no, to, no, get no, insu- not, to get an to get an insurance that. policy. Listen, I'm not saying she accumulated a huge amount. But right. The point is, well, she accumulated it. well, let me words, finish she speaking. She right. Put it in the- interest from it. Right, right. Now, so between insurance, inheritance, and interest, she had some money going into meeting you. And there's no doubt any simpleton can look at the fact of all the money that you had in your lifetime, properties and possessions, and since you met her a, a few days ago, would have been August, whatever you guys got married, you've lost basically all your wealth. And Absolutely. she's... No well, question right, and while you lost a home... She now has one completely in her name paid in cash. While you had a fleet of automobiles, you own none and she owns one. While you don't go anywhere, she's traveled and is planning on traveling again many places throughout the country. While you barely have one account with $5,000 or less savings, you have evidence and have seen she has hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not more, in her accounts of which you... Right, and again, you have access to basically nothing, including your own accounts. She has control and and uh, you know and access to all the other accounts. Every account, basically, as with your and her is, name. As sick as it is, that's a that's right. an accurate, complete story. You that's have story. right, and you no longer have any businesses. Right. You're, you you and you subsist on social security. That apparently, it seems, yours. We don't know where her social security payments and money goes. She gets basically an amount a little bit less than yours, but yours, she's always demanding. You have, Absolutely. you never, hardly ever demand her payment for anything. Her never social security, right? 
Right. Okay. All right. Today's August the 19th. This is Mark Anthony DeBello finishing up his conversation with his father, Anthony Francis DeBello. Correct? That's absolutely Amen. Correct. All right. God bless and you, Dad. Correct and accurate. Okay. I'm putting an end to this recording. It's 16 minutes on this day.